Hi, I'm Tana Gilday, a principal and financial advisor with Homerick Berg. I work with a lot of women who are going through divorce or the loss of a loved one, and I know what a difficult and trying time this can be. It's often overwhelming dealing with the emotions of the situation, as well as all of the practical administrative matters that come up as you take on this big life change. So I wanted to provide some helpful tips and tricks that have worked for me and my clients in the past as you try to navigate through what may not be an area that's either fun or kind of in your wheelhouse. So I call this breaking it down to build yourself up. And what we want to do as you face these tasks and these processes and the paperwork that goes with the divorce First thing is we want to get everything out of your head. A lot of times it's that banging around of, oh, I can't forget this and I've got to remember that and what about this that kind of makes us crazy. So by getting it out of our heads and down on a piece of paper, we're able to uh, assess it and view it a little bit more objectively and define what needs to be done. But rather than make one long to-do list of things that seems really overwhelming, I recommend that you get a good old-fashioned notebook and put each item on its own page. Don't use the back. Each one gets a separate page. And then you can flag those things that are the highest priority that you really need to pay attention to from the get-go. As you do that, we also want a little mental shift in the language that we use for this. Task has the thought that, oh, this is something quick and easy that I can just knock out. But often the things on the divorce checklist aren't necessarily that quick and easy to knock out. And sometimes we don't have all the information that we need or the know-how to get it accomplished. So by thinking of this as a project, we've now shifted the expectation. We know that projects have many steps involved and we can't expect to get everything done in one sitting or maybe even in one day. So what we wanna do is take that first most important project that's in your notebook and you want to just sit and list all of the information you need, people that you need to talk to, decisions that must be made in order to ultimately get that done. So as an example, a common thing that has to be done when you divorce is to change the beneficiary on your 401k plan. Great. Seems easy enough, but as you start listing things, the questions that come up, well, how do I do that? Where is my 401k plan? Can I access that online? If I can get to it online, do I know my credentials? Will I know what to do when I get there? Can I change it on the website? Do I need a form? If I need a form, where do I send the form? Who am I changing the beneficiary to? I know I don't want my ex-partner to be the beneficiary. Who in my family? Oh, I guess that would be my kids, but wait, they're minors. Can I leave my 401k to minor children? Do I need to name an adult custodian? So these are all questions, information that you need to gather before you can even begin to change that beneficiary. So list those all out and then think of the resources that you have that can help you. Okay, the 401k, maybe I can talk to somebody in HR. Maybe I can call the 401k custodian, talk with them, find out how to do it, if I can use, uh, make my children the beneficiary, all of those kind of things. But by listing everything, all the questions, all the information you still need, then we can break it down to where are the resources that, where I can get help. And you can find one small thing that you can do. Okay, if I'm gonna call the plan, the first thing I need is probably my statement. Okay, if I need my statement, I probably need to log into the website. Where can I find the website? I've got 10 minutes, let me poke around on my work uh, website and see if I can, can get my web my uh, URL for the 401k plan and pull that up and get logged in and get a number to call. Maybe I can find a statement. So there's all those things that you can kind of work through and you can keep notes. If you do call somebody, make sure you note the date, the name of the person, what they told you, the information they gave you, 
And then what is your next step now that you have that information? So this will help you work through systematically and keep a record of everything that's going on so that as you get interrupted, as you run out of time, you can come back the next time, pick up right where you left off. And we don't want to try to be keeping things in our heads because even on a good day, there's so many things going on that it's tough to keep everything straight. And did I talk to my 401k person or my benefit person or my health insurance? insurance person. We don't need to try to keep that straight. It's all going to be in our notebook under each specific project that we're working on. So that helps stay organized, allow you to refer back easily, and ultimately take small baby steps toward completing those various projects that come up. When you're done with something and you've verified, yes, the change has been made, you pull out that pad, that piece of paper out of your notebook and we save it in our done folder. We want that done folder to keep growing so that we see the confidence, we build our self-esteem, we know we're making progress as we see our done folder get bigger and our notebook of tasks and projects get smaller. Plus, we can refer to that if a question ever comes up. How did I do that? What did I do? When did I do it? It's all right there available at your fingertips. So I hope that helps you as you move forward and through this process. I wish you and your family the absolute best as you navigate into this next phase of your life. And as you move forward in this next phase of your life, if you feel that a new financial advisor would be appropriate for your situation, please take a look at our website at homerickberg.com. There you can see the types of clients we work with and how we serve those clients. If it's a good fit for your situation, I'd be happy to chat with you and match you up with an advisor that would be a good fit. Regardless, we wish you the best of luck and I hope that this has been helpful as you remember to break it down to build yourself up.